I'm going to do this video for uh, OC refrigeration specifically. He asked for it, but uh, you guys might, uh, anyone, anyone might find it interesting, I guess. Um, this is a cheap little uh, thermostat module. I used it. Um, I bought a bunch of them because I was just uh, putzing around on eBay one day and uh, looking for something else. And uh, I found these little guys for about two bucks each. I, th I thought they were about three bucks each, is what I uh, told OC there, but it's a. Uh, they're actually about two bucks each shipped. I don't even know how they can do that. Uh, I can't even, I don't think you, you and I can get the components on there for that much, but um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, this takes a 12 volt uh, DC power supply here. A little dusty. You could put it in a little case or something too if you're not a uh, absolute heathen like me, but um, that's beside the point. Uh, they have you know screw holes and stuff like that. You can easily mount it in a little box. Uh, they said a 12 uh, 12 volt DC power supply. I just rigged it up to cheap. I've got a box just full of tons of AC adapters like that. So uh, this one's a 400 milliamp, which is more than enough for this. I think it only needed 100 or something like that. And uh, can't see it. I got some of the uh, this insulation slug material around the contacts there, but that is just on uh, K, K, uh, K0 and K1 there or um, those are um, uh, those are just switching the um, switching the compressor directly um, as the line voltage thermostat the old mechanical stat did and that's the only reason it's there is this thing just failed and it was uh, cheaper to use one of those little two dollar things than it was to find the uh, uh, even the cheapest mechanical replacement so just wired it up like that drilled a hole in the back of the fridge and uh, placed the I uh, uh, can't see it right now because it's ice but I placed the um, the rest up under there and it uh, worked great so there you go and I uh, these are pretty easy to program I don't know if you can switch between uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius see it went up quite a bit and you can set the the different delay you can set a different delay on there um, you can set it for um I swear I'll learn how to do uh, learn how to do screen capture eventually at this point in my uh, phone the PC screen here but um, so anyways like I said these are the different parameters you can change on those things uh, it's a, it's set it up for cooling or heating. Um, just determines which side of the uh, which side of the set point it breaks on, and then the um, the offset, the temperature offset. Um, you know the difference it needs to see from the set point for it to come on. And then you yeah, got the upper upper and lower limits there, and you can calibrate it if it's a little bit off or or, um, or something like that. And you got your delay. And yeah, you can see it. Uh, high temperature alarm. I don't. Uh, there isn't alarm contacts on there, so it must just uh, light up a light or something, which I don't know how useful that is. But there you have it. And then uh, you can restore it all back to back to defaults there too. So, anyway, it's pretty simple to use, and yeah, you know, it's a pretty mean price. Two bucks each shipped. I mean, I said you can't get the components for that. So, anyways. Peace.